I'm Alison Norrington. I'm founder and CEO of Story Central Digital, which really began as a blog to discuss my PhD findings from my transmedia storytelling research. But I now consult to authors, filmmakers, broadcasters, publishers, storytellers about transmedia storytelling in terms of the narrative design and delivery of the story, but also in the production and distribution of a transmedia story world. The huge explosions of new platforms mean that there are huge new options for writers and producers to deliver their stories. However, there's also an air of caution in that the stories have to be extremely well researched, invigorated, robust and ready to go for them to travel across a series of platforms. If they're not invigorated as a story world and they're not really clear as to the heartbeat and message of the story, who the audience are and what you want the audience to do, there's a danger that the story becomes diluted as it moves across platforms. So it's an afterthought. Definitely not. It has to be woven in right from the go-get. Um, you know, there are stories that are out there now that have been synchronised for transmedia after they've been produced and even sometimes after they've been delivered. But to integrate that from the inception is extremely important. And the, the huge explosion of platforms as well make people very excited. The production costs are very small. I mean, you know, YouTube for a start and blogs, it's all free. There's also a load of rubbish that's been uploaded, but there's such a huge availability of platforms, there is a massive excitement. But to actually invigorate and work on a story world and the narrative design of that, in order for that to flow, right from the start, has to be considered. So how do you help broadcasters? I help broadcasters by looking for opportunities and maximising their opportunities, new ways of engaging audience, um, I was speaking earlier about uh, that it's no longer just an audience, it's a, a viewer, user, player, which also extends into a reader and a co-creator and a collaborator. The whole landscape has changed. So I like to think I can help broadcasters by, first of all, recognising opportunities and then maximising those opportunities. How do you do that? In, in, in the form of a masterclass or what? There's a masterclass that I've been asked to run here for EBU, Transmedia Masterclass, that runs over two days. Um, which is really an overview of the entire process, which begins very much with story and then moves on to looking at uh, potential media partners, recognising your audience, looking for cheese holes, which are the spaces that you'd like your audience to fill, rabbit holes, which are the places where they drop down for a deeper immersion into the story, and then right through to perhaps rollout strategies, distribution, even down to the very difficult job of monetising your ideas or offshoots of your ideas. And then even like crowd control management of crowds, fans, what, you know, how to control what you're going to lose control of. I mean, this, it's a huge process, but extremely exciting and done properly will increase the scale and scope of your story across timelines, across territories, across platforms. And if it's done right, there's a chance that you will engage an audience beyond the demographic that you even thought you were reaching out to. What would you recommend broadcasters not to do? <laughs> I would recommend broadcasters not to just simply think that YouTube and Twitter and Facebook are the only platforms that can be used. I would encourage them not to simply take existing content and upload it and think it's transmedia. Um, the whisper rather than shout thing is much more important and valuable in engaging a new audience. And really for broadcasters to, as well, take a huge step back Look at what the teenage kids are doing online. Look at how they're moving fast, thinking big, being small, changing their mind at the last minute to work with their audience. And to look at perhaps being open to the idea of commissioning content that is ready to roll with a transmedia view. So what's your preferred feature for transmedia? Let's say, in the, how would you like to see develop in the next three to five years? I would like to see content being written specifically for a multi-platform flow. I would like to see small, um, small kind of projects, experimental projects being put out there. And I know that's a scary area because people believe that they have a legacy and a tradition and a reputation. But I feel that, you know, Generation C will have more respect for taster and tester and experimental projects. Test the water, see what's out there, see how people engage and react. And I think in three to five years, if broadcasters can look to commission content 
with an eye to rolling it out as a transmedia plan, then they will see a huge shift in the loyalty and engagement and sharing and collaboration of their stories, which ultimately is, is what we all want, right? Mm -hmm.